and so we will request him to say a few words to open the the sting please mr uh, Amit Meer Sahib, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, uh, I feel highly honoured to be invited to address the audience of this event, which is being organised to pay homage to the services rendered by Mr. Jamshed Nosherma Ji for the. cause of education and other services which he rendered for the city of karachi i just wanted to present in this event as an ordinary uh, visitor accidentally uh, uh, i was requested by the management to address the audience uh representing the government so uh, i think most of you are not uh, familiar with me so my brief introduction is that i am sayed ahmed zaidi uh currently posted as director general ports and shipping uh, and uh, basically i belong to federal board of revenue so dr zaram sent me an invitation to attend this program so i thought it it would be a literary kind of a thing then he explained that it's not it's uh, the ceremony has been organized to uh, pay homage homage to the services of uh, celebrated social worker dr jamshed uh, sorry uh, jamshed nosherma ji uh look i think it uh, mm, he was started this uh, uh, movement or services for this residents of this city 100 years back uh look at the political scenario at that time mogal rules ended british empire was ruling here 1885 indian national congress was formed and the former rulers the muslims the natives were confused how to address the new situation during mogal rule all the key positions were held by muslims and notable rajas suddenly there was a change of government and now persian was no more the official language it was english system of governance went a thorough change the muslims were not ready to reconcile with the situation situation so there was a rift between the former former and the existing rulers of this place and since that that time was not a province it was part of bombay presidency it became a province i think in 1937 it used to be a small city at that time so many thinkers indian thinkers came together how to address the situation and then they came up with the idea that they cannot fight this powerful regime so they have to reconcile and adjust to the new realities set up modern education institutions which are which can produce 
students and future leaders that can occupy important positions in the government and then they should carry on their political struggle as well under the banner of Indian National Congress and then some other parties were also formed. And this is how the background, this was the situation when this transformation was taking place and the reformers like Jamshed no Sarmanji came forward and many others in their respective areas to prepare the future leaders to work for the humanitarian causes. And then you see that as Mr. Hamid Mir already explained that they came up with the idea of establishment of this institution at this place which at that time was considered to be far off from the city because old city was Kharadar and Layari. And then as he said that some people are good that would come for education here. But he was a visionary. He could see. He was the leader he could see in future. So uh, this institution was established and it's now uh, more than 100 years, I think. And its contribution is tremendous for the citizens of Pakistan, for the residents of Karachi. So, now in that, in those days, the people were not so rich. They started with meager resources. When Aligarh was being established, Sir Sayyid used to take even in that time, small Anna as, as a contribution. When Anjuman in Himayat Islam was thinking of setting up institutions, they would collect flour, atta, and it was collected from the homes and sold out, and then the proceeds were used for establishing and running the institutions. So in those days, people had meager resources, and then they, they were they succeeded in establishing these institutions, Sain Madrasatul Islam, this place, Islamia College, Lahore, Peshawar, Aligarh University, and some institutions in Dakkan. And now, uh, these days, uh, you can see that there is affluence all along. It's visible. But still, very few people pay attention to social work. These were the guys who, despite their meager resources, they succeeded in establishing or such institutions, hospitals, dispensaries, trusts, orphan houses. They produced the future leaders and went a long way in establishment of, in transformation of society. But unfortunately, these days, people have millions and billions, but still very few work for the cause of humanity. So, I would, I think I have taken too much time. So, brief message is that we talk about the problems but we don't, are not ready to pay our share to solve those problems. But the message is that we should, whatever we have, we have time, money, energy, resources, whatever we can, we should keep contributing for the betterment of society. Instead of always complaining to the government or society or the politicians or whatever for the problems we are facing. Apnei se ki shama chalani chahi har kisi ko jo bhi jis position mein khuda ne har kisi ko betashya salaiyat diye. 
तो शिकवाए जुलमते शब से तो कहीं बेहतर था अपने से की कोई क्षमा जलाए जाते सो इन लोगों ने अपने से की क्षमा जलाई हमें अपने से की क्षमा जलानी है थैंक यू Thank you so much sir thank you so much for your precious time and words it is an honor for us that we have such wonderful personalities around us now uh, the children of jamshed memorial school have prepared a small presentation